guys, welcome back to another video. A today's sorting technique is quick sort. Like merge sort, quick sort algorithm also uses divide and conquer technique. It picks an element as pivot and partitions the given array around the pick pivot. There are many different versions of quick sort that pick pivot in different ways. In some cases we choose the first element as pivot whereas in some other cases we choose the last element as pivot. Sometimes we also choose a random element as pivot. Let's consider an example of an unsorted array and consider the first version of quick sort where we choose the first element as pivot. So 9 is a pivot and then we insert 9 at its correct location and our array is partitioned into left and right partitions. Since there are no elements to the right side of 9 therefore we get only a left partition whose contents are 26508. Again we choose 2 as a pivot and then insert it at its correct location. So we get our left partition as 0 and the right partition as 658. Again we choose 0 as a pivot. Since 0 is already at its correct location therefore we move further and choose a next pivot which is 6 and then insert 6 at its correct location and then partition the array into 5 and 8. Then again a next pivot is 5. Since 5 is at its correct location we proceed further and choose a next pivot 8. Since 8 is also at its correct location therefore we finally get a sorted array as 0 2 5 6 8 9. Now let's have a look at the algorithm for quicksort. The right side of the screen shows the quicksort algorithm which consists of two functions namely quicksort and partition. Initially we call the quicksort function from a main function with the values of L and R as the left and right indices of the array A. So the value of L and R are 0 and 5 respectively. Then we check whether L is less than R. If so, we call the partition function which returns a value Q. In partition function, we initialize pivot as the leftmost element which is 9 and also initialize i to r plus 1. Then we run a for loop for j is equal to r to l that is from j is equal to 5 to 0 and check whether if a of j is greater than pivot. Since 2 is not greater than pivot therefore we decrement j. Now j points to 8. Again 8 is not greater than pivot. Therefore, we keep on decrementing the value of j. Now j points to the value 9 or the index 0 and since j is not greater than l, therefore we exit the for loop and swap a of i-1 with a of l that is we swap 9 with 2. Now 9 is inserted at its correct location and we return the value 5. So a value of q is 5 and the array is divided into left partition and right partition. The left partition is from 0 to 4 and in this case we don't have any right partition. So a right partition array is 26508 and again we call partition function for this array. So a pivot is 2 and i points to 5 which is r plus 1. Again we run a for loop from j is equal to r to l that is from j is equal to 4 to 0 and check whether a of j is greater than pivot. In this case 8 is greater than 2 therefore we decrement i and then swap 8 with itself. Now j points to 0 and since 0 is not greater than pivot therefore we simply decrement j. Now j points to 5 and since 5 is greater than pivot therefore we in we decrement the value of i and then swap a of i with a of j that is we swap 5 with 0 and further decrement j. Now again 6 is greater than pivot therefore we again increment sorry decrement the value of i and swap 6 with 0. Now finally j points to 2 which is the location 0 and since j is not greater than l therefore we exit the for loop and then swap a of i minus 1 with a of l that is we swap 2 with 0 and return the value of q as 1. So now 2 is inserted at its correct location and the subarray 0 to 6 5 8 is divided into left partition as 0 
and the right partition as 658. Now let us consider the subarray 0 and call the partition function for it. So the pivot is 0 and as we know that 0 is already at its correct location therefore we proceed further and consider another pivot as 6 and initialize i to r plus 1 which is phi. Now again we run a for loop from j is equal to r to l that is from j is equal to 4 to 2 and check whether if a of j is greater than pivot. In this case since 8 is greater than 6 therefore we decrement i and swap 8 with itself. Now j points to phi and since phi is not greater than pivot therefore we further decrement j. Now since j is not greater than l therefore we exit the for loop and then swap a of i minus 1 with a of l that is we swap 6 with phi. Now 6 is inserted at its correct location and the subarray 5 6 8 is partitioned into left partition as phi and right partition as 6. Now let's consider the subarray phi which is selected as the pivot. As we can see that phi is at its correct location therefore we can move further and choose a next pivot as 8. Even 8 is at its correct location therefore we finally get a sorted array as 0, 2, 5, 6, 8, 9. The time complexity of this algorithm is order of n log n and the space complexity is order of n. So now let's begin with our code. Initially we declare a variable n which is the size of the array and then input n. Next we declare an array of size n and then input the array elements. Next we call a quicksort function with the arguments as the array and the value of l as 0 and the value of r as n minus 1. Next we print a sorted array. Now let's create a quicksort function. As we have seen in the explanation part, we check whether if L is less than R. If so, then we call a partition function which returns a value q. The arguments to the partition function are same as that of the quicksort function which are a, l and r. And then we recursively call the quicksort function from l to q minus 1 and q plus 1 to r which are the left and right partitions respectively. Now let's create a partition function whose return type is int. In partition function, first we initialize the value of pivot as the leftmost element. And then we initialize the value of i as r plus 1. Then we run a for loop from j is equal to r to j is greater than l.
and at each traversal we check whether if a of j is greater than pivot if so then we decrement the value of i and then swap a of i with a of j Finally, after finishing the for loop, we again swap a of i minus 1 with a of l. That is, we insert the pivot at its correct location. And finally, we return the value of q as i minus 1. So we are done with our code and now we can run it. Let's insert the array size as 6 and the array elements as 965082. So we get a sorted array as 025689. If you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos. Thank you.